Bonjour, my name is David DeVere. I'm a wine educator and traveler, and you're watching the Savvy Nomad TV, the Eau de Vie edition. On the Eau de Vie, I talk about wine and wine appreciation, and I teach classes about that, and I've done an entire, uh, well, I guess it's an unboxing of last year's Costco 2021 uh, wine advent box. That box inspired me to keep going. So here we are. 2022, I've got a new series of classes. Let me explain to you what we're going to do next. Last year, 2021, I did the Costco Wine Advent Box. That box was very interesting, not necessarily because of the wines, but because of the idea that it spurred inside of me. One was to put YouTube videos up on these little tiny bottles of wine and taste them. And two, it showed me that there is an avenue for teaching wine classes online on YouTube. Okay, this is how that avenue worked. I encouraged people to go buy the Costco wine box, People did, and then I encouraged them to watch each lesson with me, and we taste the wines together. That was fun. I had a good time doing it. I hope you did too. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can click the playlist down in the description or up here in this flyout card if it works for you. Okay, so the idea going into 2022. Since uh, I can't really go places and teach wine classes in person yet again, I'm going to continue doing these on YouTube. I got a much broader audience there, actually. But the question, the, the burning issue was, how do I get people to buy the same wine so that we're all tasting the same thing? Well, you can tell people, go buy this style and this style. But when you go to your local liquor store, man, there are all kinds of brands and styles and types of wine. And it can be hard to source the exactly the same thing. But that's where the Costco comes in. Costco has stores all over the country, even in Canada, and they buy, they source everything for the entire stores. Now, not every store has every product that everybody's gonna have all over the country, but most of them do. So the idea is, every week I'm gonna go to Costco, I'm gonna buy two wines of a style, and I'm gonna give you my thought process. I'm gonna give you the ideas I'm thinking about when I'm shopping for wine. This is gonna give you an insight into how do you buy wine and why do I pick one bottle over the other? It's not just the label, but the label is very important. The following week, I will put up a lesson about that wine and we can taste it together. Well, really, you can taste it whenever you watch the video. So that's the idea. Go to Costco, buy some wine, tell you what it is, taste it, and, you, and then you enjoy it. Okay, so let me show you where we're going to start. Okay, when you start something, you should probably start at the beginning. Where is the beginning for wine? Well, it starts with the seven noble grapes. There's three whites, four reds. Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Riesling, those are your whites. Your reds are Pinot Noir, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Syrah. So if you understand those seven grape varieties, you have a solid foundation on which to build all future wine knowledge. Those grapes are grown everywhere around the world, from California to Australia to South America and South Africa and, of course, Europe. That's where they all started. They're all European grape varieties. Those seven are important. So that's a good starting point. And every week I'm going to alternate. We're going to go Chardonnay first and then we'll alternate. And there's a schedule of what we're going to do, when we're going to do it. On my website, SavvyNomad.com, there's a link in the description. And in that, when I buy the wines, I'll update that this page and I'll say this is exactly what I have purchased. So you can go out and buy the exact same wine and taste exactly the same way I'm tasting and you can see if you're getting what I'm getting and that's the idea of the class. We're trying to taste this together virtually over the internet while you do it whenever you want and I do it whenever I want. Okay anyway so that's how we're going to start but Valentine's is coming up. So here was my first opportunity for a class. 
So scratch all that noble grape stuff. I'm going to talk about a wine that's suitable for Valentine's. A wine that I think if you are into Valentine's romance and other fun dinners and things like that, what should you buy as a gift for your sweetie, your special someone? And I think a great Valentine's Day wine is port. Yes, port. It's odd. So here are the first two wines that I bought from Costco. Now, I was going to do two t different styles of port. Uh, there are two main styles of port, Ruby and Tawny, but Costco only had Tawny ports. Okay, fine, Tawny it is. So our first one is Dona Antonia. It's a reserve Tawny. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on that. I'll put it right there. That's what it looks like. This was for sale at my local Costco for $14.99. We're going to taste this and compare it to this one in the box. This box wine, <laughs> literally, is a Pocas 20-year-old Tawny. This was also available at my local Costco. Now this cost $39.99. Is the 25 extra dollars the wood box? Maybe. It will be interesting to see how these two tawnies taste. Now we're going to do two wines each lesson. And this is Tawny Port, $14.99 versus $39.99. $40 versus $15. Is there a quality difference? Can we taste the difference? Is it worth buying the $40 bottle? I don't know. I'm going to taste it, and I'm going to do a class on it, and we're going to find out. Okay, let's start it. The 2022 wine classes, they're on, and you can watch them whenever you want. These wines, will they always be available? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, I hope you join me. I hope you enjoy this idea, this new thing, and uh, I hope that you will subscribe. I need to get up to 1,000 subscribers, and if I'm over 1,000 subscribers when you're watching this, yay! Help me get to over 1,000, or, you know. 2,000, 3,000. YouTube doesn't share any revenue with you unless you've got over 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 hours of watch time. So thank you for doing this. And I'm doing this so you can enjoy wine and learn it with me. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Until next week, these will go up on Friday. Every Friday at noon, I'll upload a new video. So until next week, I say a tout à l'heure. Or I could say a biento. Those things mean the same thing in French. But I'll say a tout à l'heure. I'll see you later. I'll talk to you later. And until then, cheers. Happy shopping.